Disaster Planning and Response Art Rescue is a first responder for the world of art, providing planning, packing, evacuation, conservation, and storage for all your treasured possessions. first time. My name is Elizabeth Alfano and you are at Fear No Art Presents the Dinner Party. So what I do here is I invite three luminaries, usually artists, but sometimes scientists or politicians, or today we have an entrepreneur, and over food and wine and chocolate and some artist performances, the conversations flow. So definitely what we try to do is make something that is familiar flavors presented unexpectedly, but also we like to make sure that it's definitely delicious and beautiful. Pickle tops with red onion yogurt, chicken breast risotto. We want people to, to be like, wow, like I really had this great dish that I can't stop thinking about. Um, like you're about to enjoy our, our pickle tots. And basically, pickle, a pickle tot is, is, a, is a tater tot and a fried pickle brought together, and it's just straight up deliciousness. <laughs> well, I, that is the exact thing that I experienced when I was at the Trencherman. Things that I had had before, but in a completely unique way. So sure. um, everybody dig in. Everyone's always um, timid in the beginning, but absolutely, you're here to eat. So everybody dig in. Hey, honey, don't talk so haunted. There's things you wanted and things you fear. Here is one for all the done for. What have they come for? days out of the year? Um, like, it varies from year to year depending on what I'm um, working with or who I'm touring with, but like 80% of the time. Wow, so that's a lot living out of I have so many case. little shampoos. Yeah. You have them, yeah. 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 shampoos, yeah. so, and I yeah. put makeup on, you know, in a hubcap reflection. <laughs> and, so, so it's just, I can't not do it. I used to have fantasies like, oh, I could work at the Crafty Beaver, <laughs> and I could like, you know, you ever, Sometimes you have these fantasies, like, I, like, ask a musician what day it is. Uh, I don't know. Every day is Saturday night. We never know what day it is. Yeah. But that means you never get a weekend either, you know, or you never right. get, it's just you're working downtime. every day. Yes. So, but that's, yeah, it is, I wouldn't trade it. So, but I know what you mean. A lot, but other people, what, what, one thing I do, like, is working with Linda Berry or working with people where you, like, give back. Like, that is, anybody can do that if that's, and maybe some people don't want to, but if you're in a cubicle, like, and just open up your world uh -huh. and get a volunteer or give right. back yeah. or pick up trash on your street or, I don't know, there's, yeah. there's ways to have satisfaction. Feel like you have a purpose without, without yeah. yeah so. That's true. Certainly you don't need a, to be an artist no. to feel like you have a purpose. No. Gosh, no, I'm not saying that. And then just go to karaoke and just whip it out. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder, um, <laughs> I, I, I'm upset in the first row. I'm sorry. No. There goes my baby. There goes my baby. There goes my baby. There she goes. There she goes. Did she love me? Did she? This is the only thing you could do? Well, I do a lot of things. I'm a you, teacher. Uh, yes, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, I teach yeah. at the public schools. I'm, I'm an what, educator. What do you teach? 
I, I, well, I used to teach. I, I, I was a teacher in the public school system. I've taught grade school, high school, university. Um, uh, so I do a lot of things. It's about finding a way to do it, even if it's impossible to do. You, yeah. you can't let people tell you, well, you're too old, or you don't have any money, or you're not the right height, or mm -hmm. you're, you have to listen to the inner voice that's inside of you. And everyone has one. Everyone has because one. if you're not happy, then you have slammed the hell out of that inner voice uh, uh, that keeps you in that unhappiness mm -hmm. state. You have to, uh, you have to understand you got to beat the devil down sometime. You know? Oh, amen. You have to beat him down. You got to say, oh, don't, no. don't, <laughs> oh, no. yeah. don't tell me what I can't do. Yeah. Don't tell me what, what's impossible. Don't tell me that because there is a way to make it happen. There is a there way. Is. And you might fail 99% mm -hmm. of the time, but that 1% is what's going to make you wake up in the morning. I actually think that you need failure, right? So let me just tell you about that because uh, this great, terrific um, athlete whose name was Stan Musial just passed away. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he was like one of the best baseball players in the whole world. And he, he used to say that when you're young, you get by on talent, but that only takes you so far. And then you fail. As you, as you get older, and then you get by on experience, which is a much more powerful resource than just talent, because talent eventually only, you know, it wears out or it only carries you so far. But, you know, for our students, they're all surrounded by, you know, these pop sort of media cultures. And so, yes, you know, bombarded, they, actually, uh, with say. stars yeah. and everything else. And, you know, we tell them that if your life is about uh, luxury or big cars or money, you know, it's life is too short and it's too hard, you know, and so we we tell them that they should aspire to find something that they can get up every day and be enthusiastic yeah. about. These kids come to our school, they've generally been somewhere else unsuccessfully. Their parents have, you know, as often as not, you know, given up on the thought that they'll ever move out of the basement or, you know, the garage. <laughs> and they turn overnight from sort of slackers and people who are not engaged because now they're surrounded by their peers and people who are excited about what they're doing and they turn into these little martinets and they say things like there's a right way to do things and uh -huh. we don't settle and uh -huh. you know so their parents don't even recognize them frankly they're empowering. like my god this is my kid and it is it's empowering yeah. and, that's exactly what it is and talking about you know 99 times I, I enjoy those 99 times. It's like the work. I'm not going after the end. The prize. You're going it's, for the It's process. the act yeah. of do, it's right. doing it. That's right. what, yeah, so. Kelly will be forming February 1st at the Green Mill. So this person gets two tickets to the Green Mill, and it's from Gregory Gurley. And he says, after a year when blogs and the Tribune, and you've got XRT, I mean, you've got such a large musical family that loves you, Nico Case and Andrew Bird and John Langford. So you've got all these high praises from uh, all around your sort of Chicago family, even though you don't live in Chicago anymore. Um, do you get discouraged when you hear bad music on the radio? <laughs> that is a great question. That's well, a great question. Well, it's all bad is relative. It's a relative term. That is relative. The world is very large, and there's uh, that's why lifesavers come in a five flavor or how many flavor pack. <laughs> it's all that's what, and it also goes back to like no matter if I see a band playing or if I hear something, at least they're not on the couch complaining. They're out doing, doing something. something. So, it's sometimes I. Uh, it, it re I really, oh, that's a toughie. They're gonna, <laughs> boy, you earned your tickets to the Green Mill. So it's, um, I've never, well, once again, I've never, you know, I've, arenas, I've never wanted to be that person because I like drinking beer and eating chocolate cake for one thing. And then, or, I've Together. never, Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. I'm gonna um, hang out with you, Kelly. All right, but it's, not discouraged. I mean, there is room for everything, and there's always been, you know, there's there's T-bone steak music, and then there's Skittles music, and that's right. been the case, you know. And it depends on what mood you're in, whether you're walking the dog or dancing naked in the house. You want some bar talk, cool, and you sit down. And then if you want some, you know, Christina Aguilera, then you listen to that, and that's cool. There's the world is big, so I always hate to. I, I sometimes I get I'm very. Um, 
Uh, lyrics are very important to me, so sometimes I'm like, oh man, it just sounds like a bumper sticker being read over and over. Or, you know, I'm very much Tim Pan Alley, and I'm, I'm, I was born old, like my dad said. I was a little old man. He used to hand, <laughs> he, he used to like take my Joseph Wamba novel out of my hand and hand me a Barbie. Go outside, you're scaring me. So <laughs> it's just I, I have very antique. Uh, things about like the way the music I like, but I never cast this person. I don't get discouraged. Mm, don't but, get but, discouraged. But sometimes I, I am very quick to change the channel. So but it's interesting. Uh, what depends you're on saying. what mood I'm in. I like to dance naked to you know <laughs> some other stuff. Well, you should pose for one of Howard's. <laughs> <laughs> I'll paint a self-portrait. I'll paint a self-portrait. <laughs> From Blondesk to Chefs. Nice job, Blondesk. You're going to Trencherman. Dinner for two oh, for you. Yeah. Not bad. Oh, yeah. And she wants to know, did you dream of cooking together as brothers when you were kids? <laughs> and how did you both end up in the kitchen? Uh, uh, not as children do we dream of doing anything together except beating the crap out of one another. So it was uh, many, many moons ago. We were working together and 14, 15 years ago. and. We, you know, we were working together every day, morning and night. We had both were working two jobs, and they were together. Did I mention they were together? <laughs> they were together. Yes, and, they uh, were together. So we would talk about food in the morning, and then we had a break, and uh, we'd come back and work together at night at, at Everest on the line. And Mike was getting ready for New York, and when, you know, just last night, the last hurrah, we were like, "Well, when you come back, let's do something together." So. Oh, that's cool.